Well, this is the Wanderers, or the Bullring to its many fans, home of South Africa on occasion and home more regularly of the Highfeld Lions. One of their star players, Eddie Lie, has broken into the South African T20 team as a leg spinner and seems to be the heir apparent to Imran Tahir, whose career running half marathons every time he takes a wicket suggests that he's maybe coming towards retirement. But I feel there is an exception. There is somebody else who could be taking Eddie's place. Nick Rabinovitz, as you saw on the show last week, won a gold medal as a leg-spinning all-rounder for the South African team at the Maccabi Games in Israel. I feel he could be the man to take the South African leg-spinning spot in the national side. My cricket career began at the Waldorf School. In fact, where during my seven years there, we played cricket on two occasions. My passion for the game started on that one occasion. Played through school and then at the University of Cape Town. I played for South Africa in the, uh, in the, the Jewish Olympics. Uh, the Jewish Olympics is, is a lot like oh. the Special Olympics. Uh, at UCT when I was bowling legs, but I looked a lot like one of those Angora goats. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to see them when I'm bowling to you, but you know, this is the leg spinner, there's the googly, there's the flipper. So you hold the leg spinner like that? I hold it like that. Right. When you play mini cricket, everyone gets a turn to bowl, you run up and you just bowl and uh, and one day, you know, I uh, got sent to the shop, started throwing rocks around and stuff and went to practice, started bowling leg spin. That's how I found leg spin, really. I made my debut, I had 25 stitches on my leg when I made my debut. Uh, we went to the Caribbean Premier League and uh, it was KP's birthday, one of the days, Kevin Peterson's birthday and, uh, you know, uh, I, I fell off the boat and I cut my leg on a Saturday and I was leaving for Bangladesh on Monday. So when I made my debut, I had 25 stitches on my leg. So that shows the mental strength against uh, Nick today, it's there, you know? <laughs> it, seems, it seems like, uh, it seems like uh, always the biggest challenge in my, in my leg spinning career, it's always the, 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 the Jewish guys. Uh, it was Wayne Josselson as an opening better, and now we've got Nick. You know, every time I try to bowl a, a different ball, they call it Letlapa. You know, Letlapa means a rock. So, you know, like uh, these guys from India, they come up with balls. It's a Duzra, the second one, there's a Tizra, the third one. But my one is Letlapa, so it's like a rock, you know? That is amazing. And, and isn't that beautiful that in the South African context, uh, a leg spinner emerges from, from protest action? Yeah, you see. You see, where else it goes... in the world would he be throwing stones and, and just discover the googly? Well, Shane Warne made the art of leg spinning cool again, and now we've got two very enthusiastic practitioners, one of them a little more celebrated than the other. I'm going to see just how good they are and revive some of my schoolboy and university cricket skills by attempting to take on Eddie and Rabbi in the nets. Oh, the crowd goes wild. <sighs> Well, this isn't the first time I'm facing the rabbi. We played university cricket together and we still play the occasional club game. He's a bit of a maverick. He can go for 30 in and over, but he can also take plenty of wickets for not many when he hits his stride. Judging by some of the deliveries today, he's found that stride all right. Eddie Lear's bowling is, as you can see, international standard. My batting is not. I've played and missed at several. I can't seem to pick his flipper. His googly's cutting me in half. Quite simply, he's reducing me to Daryl Cullinan. A rabbi throwing one up. He's got a rather elastic action. Arms and legs everywhere floats it up, but I've picked it. I've smashed that, and that's nickel one, ribbon of its nil. Right, so there we go. That was uh, an awful lot of fun. Uh, I have to say, Eddie Lay most of the time was completely unreadable. Uh, it's very clear that he's a world-class leggy. Nick Rabinovitz, well, maybe just a little bit rusty, but he's clearly got some talent, and together they're wonderful entertainers. As a, as a, as a big fan of the leg spinner, I'm very excited by this man's talent and ability, and I think we have great things to look forward to. And I would suggest to the Maccabi Jewish Olympic selectors that we look at a possible conversion. Uh, MacGyvering, he is Twana though, if he was Zulu, it'd be easier. The Zulu Jews, of course, <laughs> forming the 11 for the 27 Maccabi Olympics in the Holy Land. I think Nick definitely should be playing. Maybe comedian cricketer, maybe it will work, or cricket comedy, I don't know. But he's good, he's proper, he, he should be playing. Leg spinners are born. Thanks for today, man. Thank you. The Twanaian legend, <laughs> Eddie Eddie, uh, what are our thoughts regarding the batting of Dan Nickel today? Uh, the batting was alright. I think, um, you know, there was a few couple of shots. 
uh, but uh, we were reading him. Me and you were reading We him. were reading him, yeah. Like a, a pre-retirement, sort of post-retirement Edo Brandes. Yeah. Edo in his 60s. Edo after uh, a large lunch. <laughs> well done, Dad. <laughs> top top draw, top draw. Well, gun, to use well, one of Eddie's no, expressions. No, no, no. Just gun. Gun. gun, that's gun. Gunshot.